Hello there Internet, this is Adam Schiefernack and today we'll be taking a look at Out There Somewhere. This is an action platformer by indie game developer Miniboss and as always we'll just jump right into it. Completely blind, no idea what's gonna go on. That's not entirely true. So what's going on here actually? Well, this is uh, apparently the mother planet, the Aris space station and humanity is at peril. Captain, we have received a strange signal. This seems oddly familiar. Uh, Grigory is attacking us again. We must fight back. Call Yuri now. Is this Yuri? I guess so. My spaceship is ready. Let's do this. And we'll press X or a gamepad button to the shoot. I'll be using the um, the keypad uh, or so the keyboard on this one because I've been told that it's actually not all that good to play on a controller. Taking some damage right off the bat. So what is this game? Well, it's not a space shooter. It's actually an action platformer, as we will see a bit later on in this video. But right now, all my concentration is gonna go on trying to get rid of all of the spaceships attacking our spaceship, because why not? I have no idea if we're the good guys, bad guys, or what is going on. What I know is that we're back up to full health and we're seriously wrecking some spaceships here. So even though this is not the, the primary focus of this game, it's good stuff nonetheless. I played so much Raptor in my uh, early years that any kind of 2D scrolling um, like action shooter like this one is completely okay with me. And there's a bit of a bullet hell going on as well. I got hit there by something, which is uh, not optimal. In fact, this is not looking good at all. Uh, I think I know what I got hit by before. One of those homing missiles. Oh, and another one. We're down to two health. This is not looking good at all. Ah, oh, this is also pretty bad. And there you go. I don't think it's possible to beat this boss, but um, we gave it our rest. System alert. Hull integrity compromised. You're into Mother Planet. My spaceship is severely damaged. Uh, Grigory is no longer attacking Mother Planet. He's now landing on a nearby planet. I'll follow him. So the planet is unknown. Battery is damaged. Uh, if you land, you'll not be able to take off. I have no choice. Grigory must be stopped and I'm not a worthy space cop. Or I'm not a worthy space cop. I'm sure you can find another power source on the planet. Prepare for landing. Wish me luck. All right. So this game is actually Super Metroid, as you, as you can now tell, except it's not quite. So it, look, it looks like I've landed on an inhospitable planet. I have to find a way to fix my ship and defeat Grigory for the sake of Mother Planet. Some solid story right there. So we're this little guy and we can jump and we can shoot. And um, we can also save our progress on almost every screen. And we have a captain's log, which says, interesting, there's a lot of lava here, or so it seems. Well, I'll just jump over it. Press C to jump. So I shall. So this um, game already now, from the graf graphical aesthetic, you can tell, is pretty similar to Knut games. I believe it's not quite as open-ended, but it definitely has similarities. Uh, let's see what's happening here. Hmm. Now, somehow I knew it would come to this. It's time to use my teleport uh, gun. So I press X to shoot. And then we can teleport. Cool stuff. And so we shall. So this is sort of the primary game mechanic right here. This planet is certainly a dangerous one. I'm going, I'm gonna have to think really fast here, even in the middle of a fall. So we can do stuff like that, or end that. And so we move on. So I'm not sure exactly how similar it actually is to Knut games. As in, are we gonna get a bunch of power-ups, stuff like that? I think we are, but uh, honestly I don't know all that much about it. So as I said, we are pretty much going into this completely blind. But of course, games like this, always up my alley. It's going, um, so it's actually two years old now. Um, roughly, it's even more than two years old now that I'm looking at the actual date. It came out in 2012. But it just now came out on Steam, I think no more than two days ago. And it's going for roughly six um, euros, at least it is around here. This is, as you can tell, demanding all of my concentration. 
And it also probably shouldn't be too difficult, but uh, somehow it is. There we go. Could imagine this game being really good for, for speedrunning as well. What can we do here is the question. Oh, we can shoot through stuff. That sort of makes sense. And then we have this thing, which we can also not go through, but we can shoot through it. Which is useful, as you can tell. So it is kind of, sort of a puzzle game. Um, wow. But with a very heavy platforming aspect to it. So, once again, not entirely unlike uh, Knut games. So what do we have here? Apparently I was wrong. There are living creatures on this planet. But I think life here is not intelligent nor peaceful. I better watch out. Certainly it doesn't look very peaceful at all, does it? Can I do anything down here other than perhaps die? Eh, I guess not. What I can do though is this. Cheat the enemies. Uh, I wonder if there's anything up there actually. Let me check that out. Oh yes, definitely is. So, this game has secrets, as you can tell. So what did we get here? You found an abandoned core? You'll still need a light orb to fix your ship though. Collect all abandoned cores to make your ship stronger. Cool. Can I get further up here? Sort of looks like I can. Oh, that should be possible, right? So, yeah. This is one of the games where I am likely to spend ages trying to get back and forth. So, if you're the kind of person who's into that, cool. If you're not, then I apologize in advance. Alright, let's see if this works. It should. Um, what's going on here? Oh, I'm not sure if we could do anything there. Hmm. Yeah. Let's think for a second. There's a block in the way and a monster in the way and we couldn't seem to get by either of them. Maybe I'll have to come back to that later. But um, it's, it's really good to know that um, there are secrets in this game to look out for. And sorry about that, that's my email client going off right there. Should probably turn that off one day. Uh, should also pr probably try not to die here all the time. So far, either, the game hasn't really been too threatening at all. So how do I do this? Like this, I guess? Yeah. Timing plays a uh, fairly significant role here, as you can tell. So... Right, this we can shoot through. What's this energy beam neutralizes the effect of my teleport gun? Very, very weird. I guess so. So, first thing I want to do is go down to the left, I guess, because... I could already see that there is a uh, another abandoned core down there for us to get. Um, but that requires me to suck less at the game, I guess. Hmm. Oh, right. Wasn't too bad, actually. I wonder what this is. So how do we get up there, if we can, at all? Hmm. So as you can tell, the main thing you sort of want to do is time your jumps with your shots. Um, because you kind of keep momentum when you do so. And, but that's sort of easier said than done. For example, I can't really... I can't use my teleport gun if I'm too close to it. Well, that much should be apparent. Um, oh, what's happening here? You found another abandoned core, you'll still... Blah, blah, blah. Alright. Um, what was I about to say? Probably nothing of importance. Oh yeah, and also you need to sort of hit the ground before you can actually jump again. Uh, some areas can be tricky. Good thing my teleport gun conserves momentum. Yeah, we, we sort of already knew that, didn't we? So there we go. This again looks like one of the areas where I can probably get a... Do something like this if I wasn't too bad at it. So I wonder if that's gonna be a, um, a mechanic that we'll see more often in the game. Music's pretty cool, by the way. 
Ah, oh, so close. I wonder if there's actually anything up here. I guess I should check first. Uh, okay, I guess not. There's actually just the roof. Because that explains, or it could explain why I failed so badly before. Um, this one's pretty obvious. And once again, looks like there's... Oh, I can't do that, of course. All right. And just like in um, You Have to Win the Game, which we played very recently, there does not seem to be a map in this game. Okay, I was wrong again. There is intelligent life on this planet after all. I hope it's peaceful. Press X to talk. Okay. Hey, listen. There's a city over that tunnel. May the people there may help you. Just jump on those blocks. Mm -hmm. So I guess that means that we will, in fact, get some preps, upgrades, stuff like that. But I do not expect the game to go completely RPG on me. We'll see, though. Uh, so... I guess there's two ways to go here. No, there's only one, probably. I don't think I can make it up here. Can I? Uh, that's gonna be difficult. Especially now. And we get an achievement. So here's the city, I guess. Another weird beam. Well, this one seems a bit different. It's definitely bluer than the other one was. Aha, so this one we can shoot into. Unlike the previous one. Uh, what's happening here? There's a city out there the junkyard. They probably got the ship parts you need. Cool. Maybe that is just the upgrade we'll get then. Um, can I do this sort of momentum trick here? Indeed I can. So... Maybe I should try that out. <laughs> Not quite what I wanted to do, but you probably get what I'm trying to do here. So... Jump. Shoot. Oh, I need to jump through it somehow. Like that. Okay, that's gonna be a little tricky. Um, but I think that's what we want to do here. Ah, close. Or not really that close. But close enough. Hmm. Yeah, the whole momentum thing is gonna be a little strange here. Is it even gonna be possible, is the question? All I need to do is just get one beam in, that should do it. So probably someone out there figured out an easy way of doing this. And as always, I apologize for being so bad at this. I think the the, the thing I'm doing wrong is um, making like the, the tall jump uh, in the beginning. I think that's not completely necessary. Maybe in fact I can just do it from here. Yes, there we go. I got an abandoned core. <coughs> and we die. Okay, so abandoned core stay with us after we die. That's really good to know. Trick points. Once again, two ways. So it's opening up a little bit. Not entirely linear. Which in particular means that I need to remember where we've gone and where we haven't. So let's try to get up here first. Always pick what seems to be... Um, the wrong way. So I don't want to do this. Like that, I guess. And then here we just do the same thing as we did before. Ah. Oh. <laughs> what, what's getting to me here is that you need to jump before the beam hits. Um, <laughs> which sounds incredibly easy, of course, but uh, for some reason it's not quite. I don't want to do that. Because... That's also wrong. Oh, I guess I can just shoot into the blue beam. Makes sense. That was incorrect. We will make this happen. There we go. And then I can just shoot like that and jump. Shoot like that and jump. And up we go. So, similar puzzles here. Shoot, jump. That's not gonna do it. This should though. You found an abandoned core. Okay. 
Can we somehow check our status? See how many we have? Um, I guess not. We assume we will. Uh, I didn't want to go all the way down there. Is there anything else I could do up here? I can go to the right, I guess. Alright, what is that thing? It's another alien. A tree man. The path to Alien City is blocked by a strange space box. Little spacemen will have to go through tree man's domain. Okay. Sure. Maybe that's down here. Then. Uh, water is um, good for us, apparently. Or at least not bad. It slows us down. What else is going on here? I probably don't want to fall down to that lava pit. Various places on this planet require the use of momentum. Sometimes it's wiser to shoot while I'm still falling from a jump. So I reach the ground in time to jump again. Uh, I see. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I'm not sure if I did that before actually, sort of... Um, without thinking of it, I'm not sure I did. So how do we want to do this? So Something like that. Oh, I just need to shoot a bit faster. I wonder how fast I can shoot actually. Fairly fast. That's incorrect. Jump, shoot and jump again. Ah! <laughs> this is a lot trickier than it looks. There we go. Uh, I see what seems to be a door. Well, I guess I have no choice but to go right through it. Press up. Many controls all of a sudden. Where are we at? Down here. So I can shoot through that. Doesn't really do all that much. In fact, now I'm all of a sudden much more certain that this is more... Oh, this is scary. Oh. More of a um, puzzle platformer than it is an action platformer. That's still cool. How do we do this? I guess I want to do like this. Yeah, there we go. Who's this guy? Little spaceman can jump really high. Uh, achievement, go away. Congratulations. Uh huh. So. Okay, so there's actually nothing up there but that achievement, I suppose. Is there anything in the water? Probably not either. What's up with all of these machines? I feel like I missed out on a fairly big part of the game, perhaps, by already going up here but uh, also i'm not really sure i mean it seems like i'm progressing so much that i maybe won't be getting back anytime soon this looks like something we've done before or maybe not actually hmm. how do i do this so all i can do is, is like this but that doesn't really help me all that much Hmm. So what is this thing right here? Is that anything? I guess not. Uh, I guess I could also just go to the left instead. <laughs> that somehow seems to make a lot more sense. Alright, there we go. So what's this thing over here? Also nothing. A little difficult to tell what's part of the game and what's not. But that's okay. You can always just try. See if you can figure it out. Uh, oh, and we're back. You need what? A light orb. Mm, that's hard to find. You should try the city. There is a bridge up there. All right, so I guess we're almost in another city, I guess. What's the other one even a city? There are so few buildings. Uh, no matter what, this seems like a pretty perfect place to end this first episode. Um, if you liked it, if you want to see more, feel free to subscribe to the channel, throw a like, throw a comment about what you liked or what you didn't like. And I will see you some other time. For now, everybody, thank you for watching.